All right, go ahead and take out your representing and comparing decimals and numbers worksheet. And we're going to begin um, talking about how to compare numbers and order numbers. So join with me in writing these two values. Over here we have 1 and 3 tenths. Looks like my pen is not working. There we go. And on the other side we have 1 and 4 tenths. All right. So right now what I need to do is I need to model what 1 and 3 tenths looks like. So I'm going to quickly shade that in. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to outline. So there's 1 and I'm going to quickly just shade that in. one and then I need to go ahead and shade in three tenths more so when I look at this model I see that I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten equal pieces and I need three of those tenths I'm going to shade that in quickly so there's one tenth two tenths and three tenths right there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my pen and I'm going to go ahead and call this 1. This is my whole number 1. It gets to stand all by itself. And then I have 1 tenth, 1 tenth, and 1 tenth. So that's 3 tenths all together. Now I'm going to go over to model 2 and I'm going to represent 1 and 4 tenths. So Again, I'm going to go ahead and outline my hole. So there's my hole. And I'm going to just quickly shade that in. And you can shade yours in very quickly as well. Okay. And then, again, I need to show four tenths. So we have one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and four tenths. And label those as well. So we have one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, and one tenth. All right. Now, whenever I'm looking at the two and I'm thinking about comparing them, oftentimes I think about this being a race, like one and three tenths versus one and four tenths. And so the next thing that I want to do is I want to think about comparing those amounts. And if I think about putting them on the number line, like I have here, I have... Um, we have Z, oh, we're going to go ahead and call this 1 on our number line. And then we're going to go ahead and call this 2 on our number line because that would be the very next hole. And when I think about what is between 1 and 2, I can think about that being half. 1 and 1 half. So I'm going to call this 1 and 5 tenths right here. And now I'm going to think about where 1 and 3 tenths would be. So 1 and 3 tenths would be about right here. And 1 and 4 tenths would be about right here. So I can see that 1 and 4 tenths is larger than 1 and 3 tenths. All right. And let me just kind of clear that up. There we go. All right. And so the next thing I also want to think about is not only can I represent it with a picture and I can look at it on the number line, I could also line up those, those values. 
So if we think about this being the ones place and this being the tenths place and our decimal being right here and we have one and three tenths that we're comparing and we have one and four tenths and when we look at those and we line them up they both have a one in the ones place so I would go to the very next place value and I would see that three tenths is smaller than four tenths. So when I think about this, I can write that as one and three tenths is less than one and four tenths. Or I could say one and four tenths is greater than one and three tenths. Alright, so that's how we're going to be comparing numbers.